Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit, exceptionally quick on his feet, sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster, knows how to set up his attacks, knows how to stay in his opponent's range, figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. the day for this featherweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Suzuki. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, we are underway with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. Oh. Oh. oh he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Job keeping that head off the center line, slips to avoid the right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Devastated body kick land. Honing in on those counters. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Oh, nice. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to him. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, big left. Wow, vicious uppercut. Strikes the oh. Above the eye here. Beautiful right hand. Oh, oh, huge left. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Oh, hard in. 
outside leg kick. Shot is blocked by Liger. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy. shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot all right there's the end of the round so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there yeah that was a big moment a big strike lands his opponents on wobbly legs that is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nasty body kick downstairs. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Yeah. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice, nice hook. Work, work, come on. Just over three minutes now to go. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result... Oh! It looks like the beginning of the end. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Big right hook. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. He's got him hurt here. Now. Oh, that is it! Holy smokes! Once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Suzuki. 
So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.